Thank you. Cool. All right, let's get started. Today we're going to be looking at leak code 270, closest binary search tree value. Uh, given a non-empty binary search tree and a target value, find the value in the BST that's closest to the target. Uh, the target value is a floating point. You are guaranteed to have only one unique value in the binary search tree that is closest to the target. So leak code easy. Got quite a few likes. However, it's not so easy if you don't know what a binary search tree is. So let's go ahead and look at it. Let's go to the uh, source of all truth, uh, Wikipedia, or perhaps that's Stack Overflow. But in a uh, Computer science, binary search trees are sometimes called ordered or sorted binary trees, a particular type of container. We store items, fast lookup. Okay, so what are they? Uh, they keep their keys in sorted order so that lookup and other operations can use the principle of binary search. Here's the heat of the meat. When looking for a key in a tree or a place to insert a new key, they traverse the tree from root to leaf, making comparisons to keys stored in the nodes of the tree and deciding on the basis of the comparison to continue searching the left or the right subtrees. On average, this means that each comparison allows the opera operations to skip about half the tree so that each lookup. Insertion and deletion takes time proportional to the logarithm of the number of items stored in the tree. And we'll see that later when we talk about time complexity. Much better than linear time. Uh, so one way you can do it is with node values, everything on the left is smaller than what you're currently looking at, and everything on the right is bigger. So if we go down to uh, from the 8 to the 3, the 3 is smaller and then the 6 is bigger. Uh, the 6 is bigger than the 3, but it's guaranteed to be smaller than the 8 because we already went left once, right? So it has to be smaller. That's a binary search tree. And with that in mind, uh, we can talk about this. So we have a, a binary search tree and a target value. Find the value that is closest to this. So if we go back to the old Wikipedia there. So let's say if we had a 1 as a target, we'd want to just return the 1. Uh, a zero would return the zero, uh, assuming it would also return the one because one is the closest value. Uh, 15 would return the 14, and so on and so forth. So, those are some examples. Let's think about an approach. Uh, an approach would be one, you can say my root, wherever I start looking, is the is going to be the closest. And hopefully, you can't hear my baby crying in the background because I can't. But, uh, Let's just, that just puts a little bit of the pressure on. Hey, Pulsating, thanks for stopping in today. So the, we start off with the root value being the closest. Um, if the root value is larger than the target, uh, so let's say the target was 3, we would step to the left and then do everything again. Trees is very common. You see a recursive solution. That's what we're going to do here first. Uh, we'll do an interval solution right afterwards. So good. I can. Or maybe I'm just losing my mind. Uh, you never know. But baby or not, we'll, we'll solve this binary search tree. Thanks, thanks Pulsating. The, um, so if it's larger, we step to the left, and then we make a comparison. If what we're looking at is, uh, is closer to the target than what our previous was, so our previous was 5 away from the target if we started with an 8 and we're looking to a 3, uh, and the 3 minus 3 is a 0, so this is as close as we get, um, then we say this is the closest. Um, and then you'll kind of move, you'll still continue down the line. Uh, you won't make a break. I thought, again, that, that could be one interesting thing. I don't think I'm going to do that this time because I haven't, I haven't practiced with that. But um, you'll continue until uh, you're left, you're out of notes. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and code that up. We're going to do that recursively and then iteratively. So first, we already have a closest value. Our tree node it has a, a val, a left, and a right. And we're simply going to return, not, not caps, uh, return a self dot, uh, we'll call it helper, um, call it a binary search of a root target. Target will never change. The root will change based on where we are. And the closest, but we don't know what the closest is at the start, right? So we call that root.val. That'll, that'll be our closest to start. And then we actually write that binary search. It takes a root, a target, and a closest. Not a root val, right? It, this root val is the closest. OK, cool. So now let's think whenever you write something recursively, you want to think about the, uh, the base case. So in which case do we return up? If we, have, if we have nothing left to look for, right, 
if we have nothing left to look for, or in other words, if not root, we've, we've traversed down to the bottom and we're looking at a, at a um, at something that uh, doesn't have a value anymore, then we just return the closest, and then, then we go all the way up. Um, otherwise, we want to think about the closest, right? And so let's write it one way, and we'll, we'll have to make a quick addition. So if root val minus target, so if where we're currently looking at minus the target is less than, strictly less than, the uh, closest minus the target, then the, the closest becomes that root valve because it's a better candidate, right? This is not quite correct though because um, it could be above or below and we negative values um, you know, would trip this up. So it's actually the absolute of this, absolute value. Then if where we're currently looking is larger, right? If root val is larger than the target, then we want to continue down the left side of the um, the tree. Uh, then we just say return, and here's our recursive call, self.binary search. Oops. Uh, the root dot left, right? Because we're going down the left. Target stays the same. Closest also stays the same, right? Closest is reassigned on line 18, or it's not. Or excuse me, line 19, or it's not. Um, that's not in this logic here. Um, if it's Otherwise, if the root val is, um, you know, less than or equal to target, we just go down the right side. And we don't have to do any breaks, we don't have to do anything like that, because um, eventually we're going to uh, come to a, a node that just, uh, we're going to reach the bottom of the tree, right? And then this line 18 will return us all the way back up. Uh, so then we have a target, and we'll have closest. So let's talk through this one more time. We kick everything off with a binary search with um, a root target and a root val as our closest. If the, the root's no more, we want to return the closest up. If the absolute value of the root val minus the target is less than the absolute value of the closest minus target, it means what we're looking right now is better. So we want to do a closest equals the root val. If the root val is greater than the target, return the self.binary search down the left side. Uh, the root, uh, root left target closest, otherwise return the binary search on the right side. This looks right to me, and let's see if that's the case. Runtime error, uh-oh. Takes three arguments before we're given. Okay, let's take a look at our signature. Self root target root val. Ah, we have to, we called this using self, so we have to use uh, self here. That's line 15. Did I mess that up anywhere else? Root left, and this is self stuff. Okay, good. Once more into the breach. Good, accepted. Right off the gate. Time complexity. This is log n, as described in the Wikipedia article. Um, every time we, we go down a level, we're cutting off half, half the tree. Space complexity is also log n, right? Because you have to keep uh, the call stack in mind, um, which will be where, wherever you're looking, and then it'll come back up. Let's improve that. High complexity will, will not be able to improve off of log n, or in worst case n if the tree just goes all, right, all the way down. But the space complexity will be able to eliminate if we use a while loop and no recursion. So goodbye. So here, this while loop is going to look a lot like the recursive um, solution, but using a while loop. So the closest will be the root value. While the root exists, same condition as before, if the absolute value of the root val where we're minus the target where we're currently looking is less than the absolute value of the closest minus the target and we have, we got to reassign that thing we have to say closest equals root val if the root val is greater than the target we need to go down the left side right and left, left side correct, I should not, not say right right after there. Uh, then we say root equals root dot left. Instead of a recursive call, we just do it root equals root dot left so we can keep in our while loop. And otherwise we say root equals root dot right. And let's do let's try that. We got a wrong answer. Unfortunate. Let's see if we can figure it out first. Closest equals root val. Oh, sorry. 
it's always good to uh, return things, right? Uh, while root, if absolute value root dot val minus target is less than the absolute value of closest minus target, then the closest equals the root dot val. If the root dot val is greater than target, then proceed down the left. Otherwise, proceed down the right. Return the closest. Very important to return that. And we're accepted. This is uh, linear time complexity. We don't have to worry about recursion. We're not doing anything with the call stack. Um, so we don't have to do any, there's this constant space complexity. So with that said, this is programmer Mitch. Uh, this was leak code number 270, the closest binary search tree value. Um, a gentle introduction to binary search trees. I stream every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. a different leak code question, and I hope to see you next week. Catch you later.